Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to discuss how to level your character without actually leveling your character. What I mean by that is in ESO, your character level, whether it's 1 or level 50 before champion points, actually doesn't make a whole lot of difference in the strength of your character. Where are your strength of your character actually comes from is from your skill lines, the passives, and the actual abilities that you can use. And I'm going to show you how to actually level your skill lines. And yes, this does include your class skill lines without actually raising the level of your character. Now, if you've ever been out dueling or doing some low level battlegrounds and seen like a level 15 character that's dropping meteors and you thought oh well that guy just bought the skill line from the store but then you see him pop a sword and board alt and that's not something you can buy from the store and you ever wondered how he did that this is how that's achieved so if you're just wanting to go out and do some duels as a level 15 character and troll some players or if you're just a PvE player that wants to get the extra daily XP uh, from doing your daily battlegrounds without getting killed every five seconds then this is something that you can do to really help that character development out. So we achieved the skill line leveling through a book farm. And there are a few different places to do this. You can do the Library in Central, the one in uh, Cold Harbor. However, the fastest way to do this is through the Ethereum Archive trial in Craglorn. Now, because this is a trial, just like a dungeon, if you have a level 160, uh, friend that is willing to reset the trial for you you can actually just farm these rooms over and over and again uh, basically you go in farm it on a normal back out the other player will switch the group to vet content and then back to normal and when he does that that'll reset all the books in these rooms and you will want to run it on normal as opposed to vet because the second room on the back half of the farm is going to have a uh, fire that procs and it will damage you and if you're on a level two three character then you don't want to take the extra damage from it being on vet. So currently I'm doing this run on a level 30 character and as you will see I don't really get too many books. I think I end up with five on this particular run. The reason for that is you will not get books as often the higher your skill lines are. So that's why you do want to run this on a brand new character that is, you know, level two, hasn't even done the opening story quest yet. And the second reason why you want to do it on the low character, not only will you get more books, but it'll let you unlock as many as possible faster. And then once you stop getting as many books and it becomes a very slow farm, then you can go out and do your Sigic skill line, Sky Shard, and Lore Book hunts all at the same time, unlocking all those skill lines with minimum XP from just discovering new areas and way shrines. So that way you'll keep your character level as low as possible, getting the skill points to put into all the passives and skills that you're unlocked. Now with the second run here, you can see I'm going to get a lot more books, and this is on a level 2 character. So as you'll end up seeing here, the lower level character ends up getting about double the amount of books, and I 
messed up and wasn't even running uh, the back portion of the second room where the flames were. So I possibly even lost out on more books. Alright, well I hope that helps some of the PvEers that watch this channel uh, get their daily XP from their battlegrounds. And again, as always guys, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. I'll respond to them as soon as I can. And thanks for your guys' time.